up, what up, what up? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dwayne Wonders, and this is a space for a sparking discussion about interesting topics. We're gonna keep it interesting. We're definitely gonna keep it entertaining. Stay tuned. So, the title of the video is, What Personalities Not To Be Nice To. Now, I have a problem, guys. I have a problem. I'll be the first one to admit it. I am overly friendly and overly nice, okay? It's just how I was raised. I was always raised to treat someone how I want to be treated. I was always raised to value someone's emotion. I over empathize others' feelings to the point where sometimes it could be detrimental to my success. I'm talking that I was so nice that even in a fight, I wouldn't use my full strength because I would always think about the other person. I would always think about like, what if I actually hurt this person? And I'm saying, we're fighting. Why do I care about hurting this person? This person is attacking me. This person is attacking me verbally. This person is attacking me physically. But I'm so nice to the point where I just don't want to cross that line. Even when it comes to being empathetic, I just feel that I am just way too empathetic for my good. I'm just way too empathetic for my good. Um, there are some situations where I just want to be cold hearted. I just want to just go for the throat just like everybody else, but it's just not in my nature. I just, I just can't seem to just like be that cruel and that inhumane, but I'm working on it, okay? And it's so funny, it's a funny thing to say, right? Like you're working on being like more cold hearted, more cruel. I mean, I have um, experienced some situations where if I was just more cold-hearted, more cruel, more brutal, my life would be better off than me being overly nice. And I'm pretty sure that some of you guys experienced this where someone has taken advantage of your niceness. Someone has taken advantage of you going out your way for them, of you sticking out your nose up for them, of you being there for them, you know, of you not wanting to embarrass them in public when they they come at you incorrectly, you know. So they get into my life, I'm just like, you know, recalling on those personalities that I met that I feel that like I have to inform you. When it comes to like these personalities, listen, I know you want to be nice, fight your instincts, don't be too nice with these people, set up boundaries with them, leave them where they at, and just make sure that, you know, you protect yourself. Personality trait, one, it's the phony advisor. The phony advisor will try to get you into their corner. They would um, feed you false information, say, yo, Medea Fiena, Medea Fia, or <laughs> as the Americans say, you know, I am here for you. I mean, not Americans, English people say, what the hell is wrong with me? Anyway, they would try to convince you that they're on your side, that they are your ride and your die friend that them they are saying them they are fair, but they are not there for you they are not even trying to be a real friend to you they will advise you purely to better their lives they will advise you purely for their own self interest and you have to recognize that this person is not who i think they are this person is not here for me this person is actually a snake in disguise. And once you realize that, you will have a better assessment on how to deal with them. You can usually spot them by how crowd perceive them. Everyone will tell you, don't trust them, do not trust them, do not trust them, watch what you say around them. So just trust that whatever that was said has somewhat true to it. Now this next personality is like one of the most annoying annoying personality on my list i really hate these people i hate them with a passion so this next personality i'm gonna call the malicious innocence okay malicious innocence the reason why i'm calling them malicious innocent because they will maliciously attack you in private okay they will maliciously attack you in private all right but never public only private okay and then they would also get their friends to attack you and also their significant others to attack you, okay? And they will put up the scenario that like, it's all you, they didn't do anything, 
they're innocent what's going on i don't know what's going on oh my god what's going on i don't know but you do know you do know what's going on and you do know what you did and you do know what you told your significant others to do you do know what you told your friends to do so cut the cut the okay so that's why they're the most annoying because these type of people could get you fired these type of people could um get you in a lot of trouble with hearsay these type of people are very malicious in their intent but they act very innocent man Okay, all right, so we're gonna move on to like the other one because this personality is very annoying, and I run into this type of personality time and time again. Annoying as hell. Ugh. This personality, I'm gonna call them selfish camaraderie. Okay, why do I call them selfish camaraderie? Because they're basically selfish ass friends, all right, selfish ass friends okay that you don't need in your goddamn life all right so so this type of friendship right they only want to be friends with you when it's all about them when you have some problems going on they don't want to hear about it they got to get off the phone oh they can't hang out right now but when they're in a situation they want to call you they want to talk to you they want to just hash things out about their life they want to do all okay you know you got to be their guidance counselor you got to be their life coach you got to be um, sometimes help them with their resume sometimes you know just be there for them in general okay when they broke and they got nothing you guys are the best friends all right but when they come into money man you're in for a rude awakening because this person would change on you like that all right you don't want them people to enter your life. You don't want them people there in your life, okay? The friendship that they have right now is not real. They will make you think that it's real, okay? All the friendship that they have right now is not real, it's not genuine. Let me tell you something. If one of those people that they claim are their actual friends either fall professionally either fall financially man they would ditch them like it's nothing okay now you don't want to be friends with those type of people because those type of people if you're not financially and professionally at the level that they deemed um, deserve respect they're not gonna give you respect they don't care about the years you put into the friendship they don't care about how many times you was there for them they only care about superficial <laughs> okay you don't want those people. Let them go off and find some fool to be their friend. Let them go off and find some fool that think like, oh, this is my actual friend. I'm surrounded by love. No, you're not surrounded by love. You're surrounded by a situation, okay? Your friendship is based on a situation. That's what it is, okay? And once you haven't met that situation, that friend that you call friend is gonna leave your ass high and dry. So enjoy your situationship. Hopefully professionally, you don't fall. Hopefully financially, you don't fall because guess what? If your ass fall, that friendship is over, okay? Over, all right? All right, so let's move to the next um, personality trait. I apologize if I'm sweating throughout this video. It is hot, it's New York, and it's summer, okay? sue me all right so i'm doing the best that i can i'm new at this but anyway let's get into this next personality trait so this next one i want to talk to you about is called no boundaries all right so no boundaries um could be family members it could also be like friends nah it's family members because if it was friends i ditch their ads okay i don't play that all right so like for me it's um family members i don't know if it's for you it's friends but for me it's family members so um they will <laughs> they will come over to your house not say hello to you but they want you to say hello to them okay like well i'll go on yes that, that, that's an all right scenario but anyway they will come over your house want you to say hi to them but they don't want to say hi to you like you kidding me with this shit? you kidding me <sighs> another thing too you will cook something and they will just go into the pot not asking you and just take what they got to take like at least ask me what, what the hell is wrong with you like who raised you all right 
you're gonna ask me to have manners. You have some manners too. What the hell is wrong with you? Not only that, they always try trying to ask inappropriate questions. Like, I met you like what? Three times, maybe two? You feel like we have this like, you know, um, deep personal like sharing history with each other? No, we don't. The fuck out my face. You You know what I mean? I respect you because you're you're related to me and because of who you're uh, how the connection is of the relation but don't get it twisted all right do not get it twisted have your respect i respect you you respect me respect my space okay i'm not gonna stand for that i'm way too old to stand for that all right this is pissing me off let's move to the next one all right let's move to the next one so this next one all right the next one you know me i call um the crazy one all right <laughs> the crazy one okay the reason why i call him the crazy one the damn crazy all right they are batch crazy they always want to yell at people they always want to shout at people they're very emotional very irrational people okay and you know what they do they make it seem like a you a you are the irrational one a you are the emotional one okay they were dead ass dead ass yo, i'm not even i'm not i'm not <laughs> yo you think i'm playing i'm not playing they would be so emotional so irrational okay and they would try to switch the the gear they would try to make it seem like you are the irrational one you are the uh emotionally unstable one but in fact it's actually them they were like oh you're so you're so emotional <laughs> you're so emotional i'm like you're not talking about yourself all right now these type of people okay these type of people you definitely don't want to be nice to them okay because once you're nice to them they will switch on you like that okay these type of people respond to strength okay and when you're being nice they, they perceive that as a weakness so you definitely don't want to be nice to these type of people okay they're set in their ways. They apply one situation to every situation. They're like, when I was here, I did this this way. So then this is gonna translate to all of this. No, in every specific situation, you have to switch it up. It's not always gonna be the same, but in their mind, if it work here, it should work everywhere else. I mean, that's some wrong way of thinking if you ask me, because it's just like social media. What works on YouTube is not going to translate on um, Instagram and vice versa. You know what I'm trying to say? So these type of people are very narrow-minded. They're very, you know, um, emotionally unstable. And they're, they usually have people, everybody don't like them. Okay? That's how you could spot these people. I'm not even going to wait till the end of the video to like um, see how you could spot these people. You could spot them. Nobody likes them. Nobody likes them. Everybody think that they're crazy or bipolar, you know what I mean? And throwing out those words like bipolar is such a huge topic, you know, I don't want to make fun of that word, but I just want to say that's what some people will say about like these type of people, okay? So I'm not making fun of bipolar people, but I'm just saying that's what some people describe this personality trait, okay? All right? Okay, so... Yo, don't be hating on me, all right? I'm just being real with y'all, okay? So can I be real for a second? Can I be real for a second, all right? So these type of people, you definitely want to stay away from. You don't want to be too nice to them. You just want to be here and keep them over there and just keep it professional and just keep it going, okay? All right. Next personality trait, like, hold up, hold up. Yo, it's actually cool on my head like this. Yo, we gonna rock it like this, okay, for this um, one. So this next personality trait is called the inappropriate um, behavior, all right? So yeah, so this is a friend that expresses interest in you romantically and you're like, nah, I'm not feeling you like that. Sorry. <laughs> but you just keep pursuing it, okay? And you end up looking like the bad guy, all right? You know, with those type of people, I usually try to set boundaries and they're my Z friends, okay? So when A, B, whatever, all the way down to that alphabet can't hang out, 
then I had them on speed dial. I only hang out with them in public, never private. And um, don't do no sleepovers. And I don't drink, you know, like, I hate the taste of like drinking, but if I'm, if I'm out in a crowd, I'll social drink, okay? And if you're around this personality type, they will try to get you liquored up, all right? And you just be like, yo, chill, like, like chill though like i know what you're doing like chill like chill like chill like chill like chill be like chill chill all right so those type of personalities like set boundaries with them you know let them know that you're not you know um, interested but of course you're gonna still pursue it waiting for your defenses to drop down okay but never hang out with them in private Use them as your Z friendship. Like when you can't hang out with A, B, C, D, F, J, whatever, all the way down to the alphabet, use them to hang out with, all right? That's it. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate you guys sticking all the way to the end of the video. Um, comment down in the comment section. Let me know. Have you come across some of these, like, you know, personality traits? Uh, did I miss something? Let me know. Let me know. I could have put some more, but I didn't want this video to be that long, okay? Because I don't like to make very, very long videos. But anyway, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this content if you care. My name is Dwayne Wonders. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.